there. My name is Chris Acton with Acton Creative, and this is a handwoven experience, episode 39. And in this episode, well, you may get a little wound up. See, today's episode is all about what materials you can use to help when you're winding on a project. So let me start with the basics. I am sitting on the floor at the back of my floor loom. This is the back beam. This is the warp beam here. You can see my heddles, my little shiny heddles back there that are part of the shafts of the loom. So I am sitting at the back just to demonstrate. This is what we're going to talk about right here is winding on the yarn to the warp beam right here. And you may be thinking, well, why is that a big deal? Why do you need something at all? Well, imagine that you are doing a project that is five yards long. Okay. Each one of these yarns is five yards and you are going to wind each one onto this beam. So they're going around and around and around. Well, if you don't have something in between the rotations, then the yarn will start to wind on unevenly and you get mountains and valleys. And that'll do a couple things. First of all, it can uh, affect your tension in the project, which is no fun. Ask any weaver. It is no fun when that happens. The other thing too is that your goal when you're winding on is to wind on everything evenly enough so that when you come to the front, everything is about the same length so that you don't have some yarns that wound on and they're very long and some yarns that wound on and are very short. So what you need is something in between the little rounds here on the warp beam. Are you with me? So the debate, from what I can tell, is typically do you use some kind of stick or some kind of paper? And for me personally, the answer is yes. I use both. On my 36 inch floor limb here, <coughs> pardon me, the yardstick is a perfect kind of logical solution. It's 36 inches, my loom is 36 inches, it all works out beautifully. But you can use any kind of, this is just some scrap stick that I got at a big box store. The only thing to keep in mind is that you want to make sure, first of all, that it's nice and smooth so it's not going to catch on any of the yarns and that also that is real consistent uh, width um, throughout the whole uh, piece of stick. Those are really the kind of the two items to keep in mind if you want to go this route. Second option is paper. And I like a heavy duty craft paper, just brown, basic, you all recognize this. And I use this all the time on my table loom. My table loom is a 15 inch and I have cut rolls of craft paper that can wind on and keep my warp yarns nice and even. So I like it for that size instead of trying to cut down sticks that are that size, which you could, of course, but I I'm not handy at all. So it was easier for me to take a pair of scissors to a roll of craft paper for the table loom. Now, I've heard of people using things like um, wallpaper because that would be a heavier duty paper. That's what you're looking for, nothing too flimsy. Um, or even uh, folks using uh, mini blinds, like the little um, plastic blinds that you have on your windows. Those could be uh, um, kind of spacers in your project. The only things to watch out for there is just to make sure that whatever you're using, it's not gonna affect the yarn that it's not ever going to cut it or snag on it or any of those kind of things. And it's going to be sturdy enough to help um, really straighten out your layers as they're wound on to the warp beam here. So that's kind of the big debate about what material is best to go into your project as you're winding on the loom. And it's kind of important just because if this doesn't go smoothly, then it causes problems a little bit farther down the road. But it's nothing to worry about. It's just something to kind of chew on as you get into it because there are nuances to both. So my answer is yes. Use whatever you have handy, use whatever's easiest and will do the trick. I think honestly, it's more about your uh, process for how to wind it on. If you got that down, what materials you're using, it's not gonna be as critical. So that is my two cents today on what materials to use when you're winding a project on the loom. I hope that it gave you a little something to chew on. 
So have a great week, my friend, and happy weaving.